Welcome to the Kentucky Bourbon Traveler. Limestones, Yellowstone Select 93, and make some bourbon balls you can make at home with your own favorite whiskey. Welcome to the Kentucky Bourbon Traveler. I'm Kent. Today we're going to be profiling Yellowstone's Bourbon Whiskey Select 93. This is one of the best whiskeys I've ever tasted in my life. For the last 30 years, I've tried brands from all over the world. And when you do a blind taste test, Yellowstone Select comes up right on top. We're also going to be doing some cooking with Christiana. Uh, bourbon cooking, making bourbon balls later on in the episode. Here in Louisville, Kentucky, bourbon's an art form. France, they have the cooking with butter. Uh, Russia, they've got their caviar and they've got their vodka. But in Kentucky, bourbon's king. We have more barrels here in the state of Kentucky than we have people. Anyway, it's nice to have you join us, and we'll get started in just a moment. If you're visiting the Limestone Distillery for a tour, you'll be going roughly an hour and a half southeast of Louisville, Kentucky. And after finishing the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, we've been scouring Kentucky for little or rare, uh, rarely known brands uh, to bring you the great choices in case you're visiting distilleries or just enjoying the products abroad. If it's your first time uh, visiting Kentucky, especially if you're driving, the Department of Transportation said best to the locals on the digital sign the other day. We'll have more visiting tips later. If you think bourbons are great in small doses, cooking with spirits makes gourmet food even better. Later on, Christiane will be showing us how to make really potent bourbon balls with your favorite bourbon dipped in Belgian chocolate. I'll show you those a little bit later. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be sampling a new offering we found off the Kentucky Bourbon Craft Tour. And uh, this is Limestone Branch, is Yellowstone Select 93 Kentucky Bourbon. Limestone's a small distillery that was started by the two of the Beam relatives of the, the well known Jim Beam uh, family. They've been brewing uh, spirits here in Kentucky for decades, if not centuries, depending on the branch of the family. And after uh, Jim Beam changed hands here recently, they opened up the Yellowstone uh, brand again, uh, from Limestone Branch. And uh, I think this is one of the smoothest, most tasteful bourbons I've ever tried in my life. So. We're going to do our normal blind taste test that we do with whiskey to try to compare it without advertising, without any uh, other other factors involved. And here's how we do: we take our standby and we put it in one glass, the same as another, and then we put usually a bit of tape on the bottom. That way you can go ahead and when you've tasted it, check the bottom and decide what you really prefer. Uh, in this case, uh, these two bourbons have different coloring. Our old standby has a, a, milder, a milder coloring than this Yellowstone that uh, we, we tried and thinks is very, very good. So anyway, if you were to do this test, you take the best bourbon that you prefer and you try it. Then you take the new brand that you found that you think is so wonderful.
By doing that taste test, you can tell what you really prefer. Well, it's off to see Christiane uh, help us to use our favorite brand of whiskey to make a great bourbon ball. They sell these for two, three dollars a piece here in Kentucky. They sell a whole lot of them too. But that's what they look like when they're finished. She's going to go ahead and, and walk us through the steps. In case you want the full recipe, feel free to reach out to us at lowercase Kentucky Bourbon Traveler dot com, our website, or Kentucky Bourbon Traveler at Gmail. And we'd be happy to, to go ahead and send you out the, the full recipe. We'll go ahead and post that at the end of the blog so that you'll have it just in case you'd like to print it off. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to K Kentucky Bourbon Traveler. Today we are going to use great Kentucky bourbon to make the famous Kentucky bourbon balls. I am Christiane and I am from Würzburg, Germany and Europeans like to use lots of spirits in their cooking. Today we are cooking with bourbon of your favorite bourbons and we are making bourbon balls. So to show you here is all the ingredients you need to make great bourbon balls which will put a different perspective on gourmet cooking. You got all this? First we are adding the butter which has been sitting out for a while because she wanted it softened into a bowl. Now we add the wonderful smelling Pecan Bourbon Mash. Starting to mix ingredients together. And the flavors already smells good. Once you just to have a glass of bourbon right now. But a little early this morning. Make sure you incorporate the butter into the bourbon pecan mash very well. Now slowly add your powdered sugar which the ingredients if you want all the ingredients and the right measurements you can email us and we send you the full recipe how to make gourmet bourbon balls. A little bit at a time you have to mix until you incorporate all of the powdered sugar. And as you know, cooking with spirits makes food much better. After we added the powdered sugar into the butter, we added the Pecan bourbon mash is, uh, only consists of ground pecans and bourbon, lots of bourbon. And you incorporate that all into the mixture, add the vanilla, and this is what you're going to see. It has to be consistent enough to make balls out of it, so you might have to add a little bit more powdered sugar on the way. So now we are making little bourbon balls on the plate. Make the bourbon balls and put them on a cookie sheet. Which we will as soon as I melt the chocolate. It makes about um, two dozen of bourbon balls which one doesn't you probably eat before you even get the chance to put them away <laughs> because they're fantastic and you continue making the bourbon balls 
And after you have all the bourbon balls made up, you have to put them in the refrigerator to settle because the butter is soft and you want the bourbon ball to kind of get. Now we're getting ready to dip our bourbon balls, which we kept in the refrigerator to settle for half an hour. We're getting ready to dip them in the chocolate. I took one bag of Belgian chocolate chips and put them on the water. The, the pan has about uh, a half a cup of water in it and a metal bowl on top. Works like a double brawler. And melted the chocolate down. But the chocolate is still a little thick to cover a ball. So I add, you can buy this, it's edible paraffin wax. And I shaved it with a knife to make little shavings, like coconut shavings. And I'm going to drop a few in there. It takes sometimes about an eighth a cup. It depends how your chocolate works. And you cook this under, over the water in a bowl. It has to have water in a bowl or your chocolate will not come out right. Now I take a bourbon ball, put a toothpick in, and I'm going to swirl it in the chocolate real quick, don't leave it in too long, and drop it on a cookie sheet with wax paper, and add a pecan and push it on the top. There's our first bourbon ball. Almost ready to eat. And you continue until all the bourbon balls are covered. And then after you have all of them done, covered in chocolate and a pecan on top, you set the sheet back in the refrigerator so the chocolate can settle and stay hard. And then you're ready to eat and put bourbon balls away. Enjoy. Kentucky bourbon traveler.